Good morning, y'all. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It has been a minute. Your girl have slipped off taking the Mary Ruth's and Grace for the day. But I got to get back on, y'all. It is about 5, 10 a.m. Tuesday. I don't know what the day is, but it's Tuesday. <laughs> Oh my, it's the 20 something, 25th, Tuesday, June 25th, about 5, 10 a.m. in the morning. I'm getting ready for work. And I said I had to, I, I don't miss too many days, so I had to come and do it. So we are reading a passage from Grace for Today. I'm taking my Mary Ruth's um, multivitamin plus Hegel. Mary Ruth, cheers. Next time, I'll see if they got another kind. All right, this is from page 10, and it goes a little something like this. Grace and peace in God. I lay down and slept, yet I woke up to safety for the Lord was watching over me. And this is from Palm, Psalms 3.5. History shows us that those people who walked immediately with God found hidden resources of strength to overcome their setbacks. Those who have an unflinching faith in the living Christ will not waver or break under attacks. Those who put their trust in the all encompassing love of Christ will not give in to the icy touch of fear. The same Christ who hushed the wind and stilled the storm at sea when the disciples were panic stricken is calling out to you today. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Put your trust in him and experience how his love and grace caused the storms in your life to subside. And here's our prayer. Oh Lord, I am so insecure about the future, so uncertain about what lies ahead. Help me to put my trust in you day by day. Amen. Wow. Okay, that was our passage 10, Grace and Peace in God. We will be back tomorrow. I'm off tomorrow, so I might be a little late. <laughs> um, but we will be back tomorrow with um, another passage and another swig of our Mary Ruth's multivitamin plus hair growth. And... Um, I felt so bad that I missed uh, my days because I was doing so good. I guess I just, I don't, I don't know, because I got up. I got up on, um, on my days off. It wasn't early, but thank you, Lord, I got up. And this, this passes for the day right on time. Excuse me, y'all, I just got out of the shower, and I just had to come and do it. I had to come before I put my clothes on, because I missed. But, um, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Anyway, y'all have a good day. Um, I won't be posting no vlog tomorrow, because I ain't do nothing. Um, 
So I'm probably post this weekend, Saturday, do some more passage. And go just go ahead and post. I don't have nothing special. Tomorrow I'm um tomorrow I'm going to get my oil changed. And that's about it. Sorry for the fan. It's out of here. I have my fan going all night. And that's about it. Come home. Straighten up my room. My bed is a hot mess. I gotta get bigger sheets. So the sheets coming all off and everything. So we gonna see y'all next time. Y'all have a wonderful day. And have a blessed rest of your week. Hey, good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Nikki Nicole. For those who don't know, for those who do, welcome, welcome, welcome back. Appreciate you. We are about to take um, our Mary, two tablespoons of Mary Ruth and read another passage from Grace for Today. Today is Wednesday, June the 26th. Um, about 7.50 a.m. In the morning. I got to go get an oil change today. And that's about it. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> it's going to be hot. It's going to be like 100 today, I think. Or it's either today or tomorrow. It's going to be 100. But we're about to take our Mary Ruth. So, cheers. That will always taste a little medicine-y, medicine-y. <laughs> it's just, anyway, here's our passage from Grace for the Day, Many Devotions. I got this from Amazon. The link will be in the description if you would like to check it out. Also, I can put the link to the Mary Ruth's in there also. I don't think I have that link. None of this is sponsored or um, I won't receive any type of commission from it. I'm just putting it out there. Uh, for those who don't know, I'm trying to grow my my hair, my edges back. And in Mary Ruth, they, um, it's a multivitamin, a multivitamin plus hair growth serum liquid. And... A lot of people swear by it, so we're going to see it. I've just been taking it for, I think this is just my second week, the start of the second week of taking it, I believe. But just so far, how my edges look, still look the same to me What from what I can tell, but it's all good. So far, I don't have any side effects. Um, just the aftertaste of it um, that I can, you know, pinpoint. And that's it. We're going to take it. See how we do. All right, here's our passage. Passage number 11. Glory in his grace. The grace of the Lord Jesus be with God's people. Amen. And this is from Revelations 22, 21. And when I say 20, you know, the, the first number and the second number. The first number is the chapter. The second number is the verse. So it's from Re Revelations chapter 22, verse 21. All right, here we go. The last words of the Bible are the wonderful benediction. How these words soothe our story storm tossed hearts we all at one time or another find ourselves suffering from anxiety either because of a current situation or because we feel the fear the future in our human weakness and short-sightedness we are not sure how to act some people try to handle everything in their own strength while others throw their hands up in despair. I do that too. 
Remember the only way out of a problem and the only reason for success is the compassionate love and grace of our Heavenly Father. The saving, the saving and sustaining grace of God permeates, permeates our lives because He loves you. He blesses you with His grace. Thank you, Lord. And here's the prayer. Oh, Lord, I thank you for your grace. You saved me and redeemed me from death. Every day, every day. You are my heart's desire. Amen. All right, that was our... Um, Eleventh passage from today for today, and we'll be back with the um, number twelve. Again, this is many devotions, grace for today. Got it off Amazon. If you would like to check it out, thank you so much for stopping in, and I'm gonna see y'all later. Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. It is June twenty. 7th or 8th, <laughs> um, about 5 or 5 a.m. in the morning, and we are about to take our Mary Ruth's and read our grace for today. It's, it's not bad, it's not bad, but it's it's it does have an appetite. All right, so we are on passage. Sorry for the fan, y'all. It's hot in here. And um, we are on passage 12 of Grace for Today. Grace, rich and free. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ will be with you all. And this is from 2 Thessalonians 3.18. Where would we be if it were not for the grace of God? The wonderful song, Amazing Grace, tells of a prodigal son who came back to the father's house. John Newton writer of the song says that he was spiritually blind and lost, but the grace of God touched and healed him. This song reminds us of a redeeming God who love, whose love is so great that he gave us his all through grace. The Son of God took your guilt and my guilt upon himself sacrifice his life to redeem us from sin. His grace extends so far that even when we turn away from him, Christ waits patiently and lovingly for us to turn back to him. Thank you all for that. And our prayer for today, thank you God that your grace has set me free and given me new hope for tomorrow. Amen. As I'm reading these grace for today, it's like, I mean, it's, it's crazy because like almost every passion hit me. And it hit me in a way of what I am feeling at that moment. check this book out grace for the day it will be in the link will be in the description i got it from amazon i don't even earn any profit from it this is just me sharing the grace the grace of god so we will be back tomorrow with our with another two tablespoons of the mary Ruth multivitamin plus hair growth and another passage from grace for today
thank y'all so much for um, clicking on this video and watching all the way through. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure you hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. But like I was saying when I first started this, that sometimes we'll just get videos. We'll just get videos of uh, passage from Grace for today, and we taking my Mary Ruth's because I, I don't do I don't do much. I don't do go to work and back home, and it, it'd be so hot. I don't. I'm not in my exercising phase yet. I'm not into my actual vlogging phase. Excuse me for the hiccups phase yet. So it's taking me some time to get things together, get things going. So I didn't do too much yesterday. I was off yesterday. I'm back to work today. Um, I didn't do too much yesterday, but well, I didn't do anything. I just went and got my oil changed. She came okay? back home, and that was it. And I was in the house for the rest of the day. For one, it, was, it hit, I, I believe, I think it hit 100 degrees here yesterday. I'm not sure. But I think I did see on the news that one of these days this week was going to be 100 degrees. And if you know me, I don't do well with heat. I just, I can't, I can't do well with heat. So, <clears throat> so excuse me, y'all. So I hope y'all have a wonderful day. And you are finding some type of peace or grace in these passages. Like I said, if you enjoy this type of content, give it a thumbs up. Share it out. Um, I will be back tomorrow morning with another one. Thank y'all so much, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Good morning, good morning, good morning, beautiful people. This is Nikki Nicole. If you are new to my channel, if you are returning, welcome back, welcome, welcome, welcome back. Um, y'all know I have missed some days, but I ha I have missed days on camera, but not in person. Um, I am still taking my two tablespoons of Mary Ruth's. Mary Ruth is a liquid morning multivitamin plus hair growth. Um, it clean, it's cleanly, clinic, clinically <laughs> shown to help grow thicker, fuller hair, improve wrinkles and fine lines, and support healthy skin. And this is the peach mango kind. I started taking this um, maybe almost two weeks ago, I'm thinking, about two weeks ago. I can't remember. It's in the, it's in the last vlog. But <clears throat> I'm still taking that. And um, I have incorporated some apple cider vinegar in my morning routine so i take one tablespoon of that and i dilute it with another tablespoon of water and i drink that in the morning when i when i take that so i want to get that ready and my grace for today we are reading a passage from there Right, and our passage for today is the coming grace concerning this salvation the prophets who spoke of the grace that was to come to you search intently and with the great and with the greatest care and that's from first peter chapter 1 verse 10 
As believers, we sometimes sense that God allows certain things to happen, that he has planned wonderful circumstances and has stretched out his holy hand to make sure that everything works out well for all of us. The grace of God pours out of the loving heart of God and changes people's lives wherever it goes. It also, It is also destined for you. It will transform you, empower you, build you up spiritually, and give you a purpose in life. It will not remove all hardships from your life, but it will give you more resources to help you cope. It is destined for you. Have you received it? And here's the prayer. We praise and thank you, Lord Jesus, for those who have received your grace and shared it with others. Amen. All right, so that is the passage from the day. I don't know which passage we are on because I have fallen off a little. So now I'm trying to get back into groove or get back on. It is, excuse me, July 2nd. About 5.30 a.m. in the morning, and I'm getting um, my stuff together for my first week of the month, my first work week of the month. I'm going to be working five days this week, <sighs> trying to hold on, and I do got some, some, to, some news to share later on which I'll share later on um, as I get closer to the process. If the process come through. I will be sharing something with y'all. And it's a big something. It, you know, for me, it's a big something. So, I'm going to go ahead and finish getting dressed. I got to be out of here at least by downstairs by 10 five minutes to ten minutes till and uh, gonna make me a couple of sam sandwiches for lunch and oh and I also and I also am incorporating um, lemon water um, water and I'm gonna drink all day um, it has lemon in it lime ginger mint and cucumber it's supposed to help with digestion and um, weight loss i'm not doing anything specific for weight loss but i need to get some pounds down so i'm trying i'm trying something i need to get pounds down a significant amount this not going to do it but um i'm sure i'm going to try so i have incorporated that into my everyday routine I just, I bought, I got one of a tumbler from my own job and I put the the ingredients in and I, I don't even think it's a, a whole six cup. It says six, the recipe says six cups of water, but I don't think that's six cups of water that I put in there. So, you know, I just filled it up, put it in there. I'm going to just keep filling water in there on my break and just drink that all day so hopefully it will be the start of a decent health health life <laughs> so this week i'm not doing anything um i was to be off tomorrow but i did pick up some hours so i, I will be going to work all week um, I get off tomorrow at 2.30, so I'm still debating whether or not I'm going to stay the whole day tomorrow, or if I'm, I'm probably going to come home at 2.30. Um, I have some financial stuff I need to handle, like, real fast, so, um, this month is going to be a drag out workout month, work, work month. And I just pray to God that I hang on and I can do this.
because with, with this job, you need to rest. You need to rest. So, on the weekend, I, I probably won't do too much because every little bit of money that I make this month, I, it's going to have to go somewhere else. So, I'm going to just, I'm going to be broke all month, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to be broke. So, anyway, it is what it is. I got I got some plans, some hard plans to follow, and uh, this is a new start, new month, and I'm determined to do it. So let me finish getting myself together, go downstairs, make my lunch, and head out and start my day. I hope y'all are having a blessed year. I hope. I pray that your July started off a okay. And oh, did I show y'all? This is the grace for today. Um, this is what we read from. This is what I read from every morning. If you would like to take a look at it, uh, the link will be in my description. I got it from Amazon. All right, guys. Until next time. Until the next video until the next grace for today many devotions i will see y'all y'all have a blessed day and yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel um i'm going ahead and close this um close this video out with a passage from grace for today um it is i have missed a couple of days but i read a passage but i missed putting it on um camera but today is july 4th um about 5 30 a.m in the morning i am headed to work it's good we only have to work um until 2 30 and the rest of the day we off i don't have any plans I, I did think about going to bingo but i need my money to do something else so i'm not gonna go i may try to step out saturday and go so if you would like to see me play bingo I have a gaming channel called East Coast Bingo here on YouTube. You can go over there and take a look at some of my videos. Um, but today I'm going to be reading this is page 19 y'all and it is God's faithful love. You forgave the iniquity of your people and covered all their sins. You set aside all your wrath and turned from your fierce anger. Will you not revive us again that your people may rejoice in you? And that is from Psalm 85, 2-3 and number 6. It has become common nowadays to deny sin and its consequences. But there are millions of people who live under the burden of their sin. A feeling of guilt is often a gift of God's grace to give our lives new meaning. 
to lead us to a new and more productive life. But an even greater gift from God is his grace that allows us to move in a new direction once our sins have been forgiven. If we just confess our sin and ask for forgiveness, then God is merciful and will forgive us. Think of all that he has already forgiven and give him praise. And here's our prayer. I thank and praise you, Lord, my God, that in your mercy, you have forgiven all my sins and helped me to bear fruit to your glory. Amen. All right, that is our passage from today. If anything resonated with y'all, let me know in the, let me know down in the comments. Um, like I said in the beginning, I will be doing these every day. Um, as you see, some will be on camera, some not. Um, so, like I said, if anything resonates with y'all, put down in comment in the comments. Let's talk about it. Some may not resonate with you, and some may, like me, some may, some have, and some didn't. But it's on you to, if you want to go further into finding the answers you need. But um, yeah, it is. Uh, I haven't taken my Mary Ruth or my um, little swig of. Apple cider vinegar. I think I'm gonna pass on that today. Um, so happy Fourth of July, everybody! I hope everybody have a great day, have a great weekend. I probably just relax. Like I said, I might, I might go to bingo on Saturday morning. Two sessions. So we'll see. But other than that, I hope y'all have a blessed weekend. Be safe. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you are interested in this type of content. Y'all have a good one.